Are you interested in investing in stocks but don't know where to start? Investing in stocks can be a great way to grow your wealth over time, but it's important to understand the basics before diving in. In this video, we will cover the fundamentals of investing in stocks and provide you with the knowledge you need to get started. First, let's define what a stock is. A stock represents ownership in a company. When you buy a stock, you're essentially buying a small piece of that company. The value of the stock will fluctuate based on the performance of the company and other market factors. Before you start investing in stocks, it's important to have a solid understanding of your financial goals and risk tolerance. Investing in stocks can be risky, so it's important to only invest money that you can afford to lose. It's also important to have a long-term investment strategy and not make impulsive decisions based on short-term market fluctuations. Once you've established your financial goals and risk tolerance, it's time to start researching potential stocks to invest in. There are a few key factors to consider when evaluating a stock, including the company's financial performance, industry trends, and overall market conditions. One important metric to look at is the company's earnings per share EPS. This is the amount of profit the company earns per share of stock. A company with a high EPS is generally considered to be financially healthy and may be a good investment opportunity. Another important factor to consider is the company's price to earnings P slash E ratio. This is the ratio of the company's stock price to its earnings per share. A low P slash E ratio may indicate that the stock is undervalued and could be a good investment opportunity. It's also important to consider the industry trends and overall market conditions when evaluating a stock. For example, if the overall market is experiencing a downturn, it may not be the best time to invest in stocks. On the other hand, if a particular industry is experiencing growth, it may be a good time to invest in stocks within that industry. In our next segment, we'll cover some common strategies for investing in stocks, including diversification and dollar cost averaging. Stay tuned. Welcome back. In the first segment, we covered the basics of investing in stocks and how to evaluate potential stocks to invest in. In this segment, we'll cover some common strategies for investing in stocks. One important strategy is diversification. Diversification means spreading your investments across multiple stocks and industries to reduce your overall risk. By diversifying your portfolio, you can minimize the impact of any one stock or industry on your overall investment performance. Another strategy is dollar cost averaging. This involves investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of the current market conditions. This can help you avoid making impulsive decisions based on short-term market fluctuations and can help you build a more consistent investment portfolio over time. It's also important to consider the fees associated with investing in stocks. Some brokers charge fees for buying and selling stocks, so it's important to research and compare different brokers to find one that offers low fees and fits your investment needs. Finally, it's important to stay informed about the stocks you're investing in and the overall market conditions. This can involve reading financial news, following industry trends, and monitoring the performance of your investments. Remember, investing in stocks can be a great way to grow your wealth over time, but it's important to have a solid understanding of the basics and to develop a long-term investment strategy. By diversifying your portfolio, using dollar cost averaging, and staying informed about the market, you can increase your chances of success as an investor. That concludes our video on how to invest in stocks. We hope you found this information helpful and wish you the best of luck in your investment journey.